Hey everybody, today we're at one of New Jersey's most haunted cemeteries. Rose Hill Cemetery is in Matawan, New Jersey, and it holds people from one of Jersey's tragical events. The 1916 shark attacks, which actually inspired the movie Jaws. It was the summer of 1916, and many New Jerseyans were fearing for their lives if they went to the beach. With multiple shark attacks and deaths at the Jersey Shore, the most tragic one was the death of an 11-year-old boy called Lester Stilwell. One day, him and his friends were skinny dipping in a local river when Lester was attacked and killed by a shark. Hi, Lester. I didn't bring him anything. I gotta go to the car and find something. Sorry to be disrespectful. So I hear you're very active. Why? Why? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why what? Why am I here? Why am I recording? Well, I heard you're very, very active. Now we are on our way to go see the grave of Stanley Fisher. So on the day that Lester Stilwell was being attacked by the shark, his friends managed to get out of the water and run to town for help. So as the boys ran down the street naked, screaming for help, a local tailor shop owner, Stanley Fisher, came out to see what was going on. So a lot of people didn't believe what the boys were yelling about, but Stanley remembered that Lester actually suffered from seizures, so he went running. He told another man to get a boat and meet him at the stream where the boys were swimming. They searched for Lester for a really long time and when they were about to give up, Stanley spots Lester in the water and dives in to help him. When he grabs Lester, the shark grabs Stanley's leg. He manages to get free and hands Lester to the other man. As he lay dying from his injuries, all he could say was something like, at least he got Lester away from the shark. Stanley died a hero, not knowing Lester was already gone. This is the Fisher plot, where Stanley lays on a hill, watching Lester's grave from above. Now let's go out and seek out more of the cemetery. So other stories that have made this to be one of New Jersey's most haunted cemeteries is that ghosts here like to play hide and seek at night. So some people say at night you will see shadows ducking and dashing throughout the cemetery from gravestone to gravestone. You might even hear a laugh or giggle if you listen closely. <laughs> a lot of people also claim there's a prankster ghost that hangs out by your car. So when you walk away and go seeking, this ghost moves things around in your car even if the doors and windows are closed and locked. Maybe take a notice when you leave your car and just maybe he'll prank you. And then there's the story of Captain Kidd's treasure. Captain Kidd was an internationally famous pirate from the 1700s. He had treasures buried all over the world, including Jersey. And some have claimed that there's still some of his gold in this very cemetery. So we got two readings out here. We got a Y and we got Satan.
Who said Satan? I was walking by the black and brown family, so was it one of you? There's more still wells over here. Sad. Who's sad? So I'm gonna be a little nosy and go check out this mausoleum. It looks like we could check out the inside. Hey guys, so check this out. Wonder what's going on over here. There's like dirt, sand all around these graves, and a lot, a lot of holes and dirt done all around the part of, like in this part of the cemetery. So, like, is somebody out here looking for Captain Kidd's treasure? Or is it like the dead, you know, like zombies? Or is it those nasty water rats that you find by ponds and stuff? Or it could be just any other animal. But um, if you think you know what's going on, I would love to hear your comments below. big holes so. but other than Lester Stilwell and um, his rescuers family being buried here in 1908 there was um, the, the whole depression thing going on there was actually three people in the area that committed suicide um, back to back like month after month after month and this is actually one of them his name was um, William Coffer and he owns the Homestead Hotel, uh, lost all his money, and one day went behind the hotel in March of 1908 and shot himself. So he's here, and there's other two people that were the depression suicide victims, so they're here. And there's another grave with some more sand. I don't know what's going on with the sand coming out of the grave thing. And again, Lester Stillwell is over there watching the view of the lake. Okay. Let's go. What is this? Oh shit. Did not see that when we pulled up and got out of the car. It's kind of weird. 